Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here to my channel, welcome. My name is Janelle and I do all things vintage, sewing, uh, thrifting, you name it. Today's pretty exciting because it's something I had never done before and that is going to an estate sale auction. never been to any sort of estate sale or auction so it was exciting but also a little nerve-wracking. We didn't stay there the whole time. My objective was to look at their antique sewing machines. I'm craving a crank vintage sewing machine or even a treadle. I really want one of those, but I'm gonna be patient and I'm not gonna jump the gun. That was the main reason why I went. If you have seen my other videos, I love vintage patterns than finding like vintage fabric. So there were a few boxes available that had patterns. Uh, granted, they're just boxes full of patterns. So you don't really, you can take a look and peek and see if they they have your size, but I I couldn't be bothered. It was just like, too crazy with the auctioneer and the people. The first table that had patterns is basically what I bid on, but I was like, what the hell? I'm just gonna try it. And I did it, which is good for me. I give myself a pat on the back for that. It's scary holding up a number and being like, the man uh, told me that I could pick any box and I can pick more than one box. So in my head, I was like, oh, sweet. I can get three boxes for $9, not realizing that it's $9 a box. So I ended up spending like $28. Did not save me any money, but that's okay. But I got not one, not two, but three <laughs> boxes and not all of them have um, patterns in them. And I was just like, okay, I'm done. I did my one bidding, let's go. So box number one is the main box with all of the patterns. So I'm gonna open them up and they're gonna be first time seeing them. First time you guys are seeing them too. So I'm gonna probably separate these with the ones that I don't want and the ones that I'd like to keep. So this first one is Simplicity's 9207 and it's actually Christmas things. So definitely not interested in this. So I'll put this in another pile. This one's pretty fun. This is Simplicity's 5124 and they're like wrap pants. I think I do have a pattern already like this one. I'm going to just double check in my stash, but yeah. Simplicity's 9649. It looks like aprons, placemats, table runners, centerpiece. I actually might keep this one. This is Simplicity's 6099. It's Christmas wreath, uh, like a quilted 
Christmas tree skirt and some stockings. So this is a maybe. Also things I'm not really interested in are kids patterns. Um, this is Simplicity's 5733 and it's for a little toddler, her size two toddler. It's really cute though. And if this was an adult size, very on trend right now. This one's pretty cool. This is actually a Berta pattern, 8906. It's a dress and it comes with a jacket, a couple of styles of jackets. So that's pretty cool. This is a an Easy McCall's 8006 pattern, and it's basically a skirt with buttons in the front. Next one, this is giving me some 90s vibes. This is McCall's 7104, um, and it is a button-up fitted dress. Okay, the next one is Butterick 4333, and this is a lot of easy patterns, actually. This one's actually pretty cool. This is McCall's 6688, and it's a jumpsuit or a skirt pattern, but I can see this being pretty popular. Super cute. What is this? Kids Corner. I don't know what this is, but... Oh, so you get a shoe handy bag, a comforter, a dust ruffle, a pieced pillow, large rainbow. Oh, that's pretty... That, that actually would be pretty popular. Um, bedspread, curtains... Sailboat wall hanging, sailboat pillow, balloon valance, laundry bag. So there's a lot of crafting things here. That can be cute to have. This is Simplicity 9137, and it's basically like Raggedy Ann and Andy doll. Kind of creepy. <laughs> this is a Butterick 3983. And it's some bad. It's a top. More kids. Oh, this would be so cute if it was adult sizes. This is Simplicity's 5591. It's basically like a sweatsuit set. Shorts, pants, hoodies, or just like a regular sweatshirt. This is cute. Um, this is Simplicity's 5513. It's actually maternity, but I would definitely, I would rock this style. <laughs> That's cute. This is something I'd probably start making like today. What else do we got? Ooh, I kind of already made something like this the other day with one of my vintage patterns. This is See and Sew by Butterick 6404. And it's the shirt and the shorts. I actually love these patterns. They're so easy and super cute. Yes, okay, so this is Stitch and Save by Par McCall's. And this one's really cute too. This is um, a cute racer back and short set. Love that. Yeah. Okay, so this is Simplicity House 7749. And it is a bunch of, this is actually probably pretty useful for me because I'm going to repurpose a couple of stool chairs. So we got this. I have no excuses. I have to make it. <laughs> Wow. This is Busy Bodies by Butterick, 6427. And this looks like it's for maybe teens. It's for kids, but pajamas. It's kind of cute. Aw, 
This is See and Sew, another uh, kid's pattern. Cute. Yes, I like this one. So this is Simplicity's 7176, and it's a pair of overalls, and I've seen these all over. So I'm glad I have a vintage one. I love this. Next one, this is Simplicity 7320. This is a pretty cool top as well. Has like, I'm really into these tops with no sleeve. <laughs> it's just like one piece. So it makes life so much easier because sleeves, anything with curves just like stress me out. So this is a good one. Aw, there's no pattern in this one, but this it's an extra large anyway, so it would have been too big. But Simplicity 7699. Nothing in here. Okay, we have Simplicity 7892, and this has like billowy sleeve, collarless, with a slit front. It's cute. This is cute. This is a McCall sample, but it's a tote bag. You can always use a good tote bag. They can make like mini ones too. This one's cool too. This is Easy McCall's 3407, and this has a drop waist. It's petitable, that's what it says. It's kind of cool. Anne Adams pattern. Looks like a simple shirt dress. Ooh, this one's fun. It, it's considered a robe, but it looks like a cute dress to me. This is pretty cool. It's in McCall's 9443. I wish this was in my size. I could probably figure out how to size it. That's pretty cool. Okay, another decorator pattern. This is Simplicity 5550. And it's like a shoe holder, a purse holder, um, a boot bag, dress hanger covers. Could be a good scrap project. Okay, this is a cool one. This is a quick sew pattern 527 and it is some lingerie. Can always use a good slip dress. We have a shift dress. So this is Simplicity 7655. It's, it's a bigger size and this is a size 24 and a half. So way too big, but um, it's a cute shift dress. And again, I'll probably try and sell these, the ones that don't work for me. This is Simplicity 7096, super easy. Um, it's a tank top, a shirt, and then like shorts and pants. Okay, yes, 90s. This is Easy McCall's 5427. And this is a fun little number. Tunic and leggings. This is Simplicity's 8652. It's design, designer Kathy Hardwick. It's cute. Okay, this is Simplicity's uh, 6252. Another maternity, but again, Moo Moo vibes people. <laughs> Love it. We got a weird bunny thing, <laughs> Simplicity's 8264, and it's like these like bunny dresses? I don't know. Something I'm not going to keep. <laughs> okay, what else do we have? Oh, stuffed animals! I'm totally going to give this to my friend. She wanted to make stuffed animals. This is perfect. This is a Simplicity Transfer Pattern um, for a toy. Uh, 5767. Seven. And you can make 
elephants, you can make kangaroos, cats, dogs, horse, a camel. It's kind of fun. Oh my god, so much. Ooh, I like this too. This is Simplicity 7560, and it's like we're hitting some androgynous vibes here, but you know, in my book, that's, that's cool. If you pick the right pattern and, um, it'd be a really cool. Look, damn. Okay. So this is Simplicity's 5382, another kid's outfit for a toddler. <laughs> this is new look 6843. Don't know what size it is. Six sizes in one, eight to 18. But this is cute. I'm liking this. It's almost like a throwback to the, the 40s, but in an 80s style. Getting to the bottom of the barrel here. Okay, this one. This is a McCall's um, pant pattern, I believe. Two, eight, three, four. Um, size is too big for me, but yeah, pants. This is C and So five five seven one. Also very large for me, but um, very cute. It's a top and shorts. This one is. I like this. It's it's a little on the big side for me, but that's okay. Um, size 14, 16. It's in McCall's 5357. But yes, we got the paper bag waistline, which is very popular. Very cute. Gonna keep this. And we have McCall's 8235. This is pantsuit. Too big for me, but for the modern day working woman again. <laughs> Ooh, these are very popular right now. This is an easy stitch and save by McCall's. It's 7635. It's actually a wrap skort. That's kind of fun. This one is Butterick 4286. Looks like it's been lived. And I remember my mom having this pattern actually. She doesn't anymore, but it's to make a 50s circle skirt. Okay. Ooh, a lot of maternity stuff here. This is Simplicity's 5944. Actually, real cute as well. I like uh, view three. It's the blue dress. Very cute. And those sleeves, I mean, talk about what's popular right now. This is very cute. This one is Simplicity's 9380, and it looks like a girl's pattern. And yes, stirrups and sweatshirts, which I am so down for. Is this in my size? What is this? Size A. It's a little small, but I can adjust it. Cute. Yes, this is very Vera Bradley. This is Butterix 4105. Vera Bradley. Okay, this is Simplicity House again. One unit, 125. 10 baby basics. So this is another like, I'm gonna make my baby's room a complete DIY, including a diaper holder, bumper pads, an organizer, changing pads, seat cover, coverlet, pillow cover, cover, door sign. Like, 
if you want to make a baby room, we got you covered. It has everything except for the furniture. The rest of these are like, like in weird envelopes. So let's see what we have in here. Okay, so this is, I believe, a quick sew pattern. Yes, jeans. Okay, so this is pattern 407, and they probably altered it or couldn't fit it back in the, in the envelope. I think they altered it. But yeah, jeans. Very cool. Patterns for guilt. 24 pieces. Pretty piggy wiggy. I don't know what that means. But. Oh, cute. <laughs> so Simplicity 7782. I'm sure there's a bunch of patterns in here. But another kid's one. Little rompers for babies. Iron-on transfers. We have needle craft services. Oh, very cool. I got some needle. Someone made some very pretty, I don't know if you can see this, very pretty needlework here. Excellent. That would be great to incorporate it in some of my sewing projects. What else is here? Smaller one. Ooh. Wow, that's great. Very cool. So you never know what you're gonna get with these boxes. This is the first box still, people. Um. What is this? Oh, this looks like a, another scary doll pattern. <laughs> Full on doll pattern. Just whoever owned all of this, craftiest person ever. Makes me wish I would have gotten the other patterns, but that's okay. What's this? Found, no, pound puppies. Oh, remember pound puppies? You can sew them. It's pretty cool. What else do we got here? I think these are transfers. This one. Printed pattern. Oh, that's cool. This is a beautiful apron. And then we have just like these little weird, I think these are books you can get at the store for projects. Just like pamphlets. Yeah, so that's box number one. 